Here is the performance I got after applying all the Windows registry tweaks on my PC. In today's video, I will show you how to apply these Windows registry settings to get the best performance and FPS on any low-end or high-end PC. Unlock your PC's full potential. Optimize your system for the best gaming performance. Let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need a gear booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Before applying the tweaks manually, I want to let you know that if you want to save time, you can simply download the Registry Tweaks Pack from my official website. Feel free to scan it with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus free. Once downloaded, open the folder and go to registry folder. Double click each registry file one by one to apply the settings quickly. The benefit of this pack is that if you ever want to revert any registry tweak to the Windows default, you can use the revert files provided in the revert folder. Just double click each one, same as before. Additionally, I have included a text file containing all the necessary commands for easy copy and paste in the registry editor. This allows you to navigate directly to the exact folder where you need to apply the tweaks. So, download the pack now and make the process hassle-free. Now we will apply these registries manually, so guys head over to the search bar and search registry editor. Run it as administrator. So guys, the first registry tweak we're going to adjust is disable power throttling. Windows throttles CPU power in different situations to save power. Even though you should be more concerned about this if you are optimizing gaming on a laptop, it can happen to desktop users too, depending on power settings. This can be really bad for games, as not only does it affect the CPU performance, but the GPU too. Since it can lead to the GPU running faster than the CPU, it can create a bottleneck situation where overall performance is negatively affected. To avoid this, you can disable power throttling in the registry. Here's how. Copy the fist path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. In the power throttling key, there will be a power throttling off entry in the right panel. Open it and change its value to 1. If the entry isn't there, then create a new DWORD, 32-bit value entry, under power throttling and name it power throttling off. Once created, change its value to 1. Next, turn off network throttling. Windows has a default mechanism to throttle the network under certain circumstances. It mainly affects non-media content. However, depending on your network speed and usage, it can also affect gameplay and lead to high ping and spikes. It's better to just disable this feature to avoid a chance of it messing up your gameplay. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. Here, double click on network throttling. Index and set its value to eight times F. If you notice problems with network usage of background processes after this change, you can always change this value back to 10. Now, optimize TCP for gaming. Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, is a protocol that governs how computers establish connections and reliably exchange data over networks, ensuring data arrives correctly and in the right order. Optimizing TCP directly improves your connection bandwidth usage, lowers latency, and stabilizes the connection. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter, and now. Here in the right column, there are multiple entries that you can adjust to optimize TCP. First, double click on default TTL and set the value to 64, then click OK. Then find the global max TCP window size, double click on it and set the value to 65535 and hit OK. Now scroll down and find TCP1323 opts, double click on it and set the value to 1, then click OK to save. Now double click on TCP max dupax, double click on it and set its value to 2, then hit OK. Now double click on TCP timed wait delay, set it to decimal and set its value to 30, then click OK. Next, disable CPU core parking. When there is less load on the CPU, Windows can turn off CPU cores to conserve power and minimize heat. If you are looking for the best gaming experience, turning off this feature can slightly improve performance. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. Here, change the value of the attributes entry to zero. Now, prioritize games. In the registry, you can tell Windows to prioritize games when allocating CPU and GPU resources. 
This will not only ensure stable performance with minimum stutters, but could also improve overall game performance if other processes were affecting it. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. Start by finding affinity and change the value data to F. Set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. Next, go to background only and set it to false, then hit OK. Find GPU priority and change the value data to E. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. For priority, change the value data to 6 and click OK. Next, go to scheduling category, modify it and set the value to high. For SFIO priority, set it to high and click OK. Now, decrease maximum pre-rendered frames. If your CPU is good enough to handle your gaming needs, then you can decrease maximum pre-rendered frames to reduce input latency. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. Here you will see max pre-rendered frames registry. Simply double click on it and change its value to one which will mean that only one frame is pre-rendered. Next, increase system responsiveness. Another option that creates a balance between foreground, games, and background tasks. By default, Windows makes sure that 20% of CPU resources are reserved for low priority tasks. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. Here, Choose decimal and change the value of system responsiveness to 10. Now, disable fast startup. Fast startup may make your Windows PC load faster, but it also prevents it from fully shutting down. During a shutdown, the feature logs out every user, closes all the programs, and puts the rest of the system in a hibernation state before finally turning off the computer. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter, and now. Find the hyperboot. Enabled. Double-click the Hyperboot enabled entry, change value data to 1, and click OK. Now, increase the CPU priority of a game. Although there are many ways to manage CPU usage priority, the Win32 Priority Separation Registry key offers more granular control over priority and latency. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit Enter and Now. Double-click on Win32 Priority Separation and set its value to 26 to ensure the lowest latency, faster information processing, and highest CPU priority for the game when it's in focus. Finally, prioritize game traffic. By default, Windows reserves a percentage of network bandwidth for system activities. If you are ever low on network bandwidth, Windows will prioritize itself instead of your apps. Copy the next path and paste it here, then hit enter and now. Find the non-best effort limit and set it to zero. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. That's it guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more performance boosting tips. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need further help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.